Welcome back to BNG Hockey, where it's always black and gold. In one of my recent videos, I did talk about Oscar Steen's career so far, so make sure you check that out if you haven't already. But since then, I've been able to watch him in a couple more NHL games, and I'm starting to think the Bruins really found a gem in the sixth round of the 2016 NHL Draft when they selected Oscar Steen. Let's talk about it. Steen's latest opportunity is jumping in on the third line in place of Jake DeBrusque with Charlie Coyle and Nick Foligno. He was finally able to get his first NHL goal, and it's a pretty interesting goal, so make sure you check it out if you haven't already. I myself went back and watched it a couple times. It's a pretty slick play from the 23-year-old, and definitely one he will not forget. And it was great to see him get rewarded here with a goal finally. In five games this season, he now has a goal and three assists and is a plus three. Those are pretty impressive stats from a guy who's only playing around 10 minutes a night. And he continues to do well both ways, get in the dirty areas, and he's not afraid to throw hits even though he's only 5'9". And I'm not the only one who's been impressed by his play so far. Now, as I said, Steen came into the lineup for Jake DeBrusque, but even Bruce Cassidy himself said that if DeBrusque was healthy and not in COVID protocol, Steen probably still would have made it into the lineup. Now, he didn't specify who he'd come out for. It probably would have been one of Trent Frederick or Curtis Lazar. Funnily enough, they both ended up scoring in this game against the Devils as well, but that's besides the point. It works out that DeBrusque goes into COVID protocol, and then Steen can finally get his shot playing in full-time at the NHL level. Now, who knows how long he'll be up here, but I hope it's for the rest of the season. He's been one of Providence's best players this entire year, and the only reason he gets sent back down once he comes up and plays well here with the Bruins is the fact that he doesn't have to go through waivers to go back to Providence. And it also gets him a little bit more playing time, which is something the Bruins like to do with their younger guys. You call them up, see how they do at the NHL level. Even if they play good, get him down to Providence while the Bruins have an off day so he can be playing in more games and building up his confidence. Now, Bruce Cassidy has said that he sees the confidence level getting better with each game from Oscar Steen. And he's not the only one who believes that Steen could get better and better. Steen himself seems pretty high on his abilities. Steen mentioned in an interview he also feels he's getting more and more confident with each game. In fact, he still sees himself as a top six player. He did bring himself back down to earth a little bit by saying right now he's just trying to make the team. But I like the hunger from the kid. He said he's always been an offensive player, and I could see him potentially being a middle six guy. I think the third line is probably the best spot for him right now and in the future. But who knows, if he continues to develop, he could become a legit scorer for the Bruins. And that would be a fantastic find in the sixth round of the draft. You're also getting a pretty unique opportunity here with Jake DeBrus being out. It's unfortunate that he goes into COVID protocol, but you do get to see life without Jake DeBrus before you actually trade him. And if Steen can do well here on the third line, who knows? Maybe you don't get a forward for DeBrus. Maybe you go after a defenseman. That's something I still think they desperately need. Whether you package DeBrus in a bigger deal for like a Chikrin, or you do more of a one-for-one -for, -one for a struggling young defenseman, just like Jake DeBrus is struggling here. But I think that's a nice opportunity for Steen as well. Maybe he could be the forward addition that you would get in the Jake DeBrus trade instead of going out and getting another young forward. And I would like that the Bruins finally have a guy that they develop, who they believe in, who plays a major role. Because it's been quite a while since they've had that, especially up front. And at this point in the season, Steen would be a nice find for this club. It's still very early in Oscar Steen's career, but I've been very impressed with his play so far. And I think he's done more than enough to at least get an extended look, if not the rest of the season here, playing with the big club. So let me know your thoughts. Have you been just as impressed as I have with Oscar Steen? Where do you think he fits in the lineup now? and in the future. Leave that down below in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a big like, and if you haven't already, subscribe.